Good morning, grade two. I am Ms. Dalia. Let's start our second term. Please open your book, page two, unit seven, into the canter side. Canter side means a reef. So, into the canter side means fi a reef. Here, look at this picture. What can you see in this picture? What can you see in this picture? Yes, you can see Hannah, Haney, and their grandmother. Also, you can see a bird. There is a tree, a flower, and look at this color field in the sky. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Okay, I need you to listen to the conversation between Hannah and Haney and their grandmother listen well to this conversation. Unit 7, page 2, exercise 1. Look, listen, and read. Where are you, grandmother? I'm in the park. It's beautiful. There's a rainbow in the sky. Is there a bench in the park? Yes, there is. I'm on the bench now. Is there a river? No, there isn't. So, we have new vocab or new words. Countryside, countryside means a reef. Grandmother, grandmother, il gidda. Park, park. A park is a place where we go to play and have fun. It's a park, hadiqa. Bench, bench. Bench is a seat. Maqad, bench. Beautiful, beautiful means gamil. Rainbow, rainbow is some colors appears in the sky, usually in the spring times, means qus qazah, rainbow. River, river, nahr. Grass, when you Go to the park, you can see grass in the gra on the ground. Grass, Oshb. Tree, tree, Chagara. Flower, flower. Flower means, bro, excellent. Warda, or Zahra. Sea, sea, Bemana, Yara. Bird. Bird, bird, plant, plant, in a bit, plant, bee, bee, nahla, lemon, 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 lemon. Now we will start our new grammar. When Hannah asks her, ma her grandmother about where are you, she answers, I'm in the park now. There is a bench. She is referring to a place. Okay, so we use there is or there are to describe what exists in the place. Her grandmother says there is a bench. So she refers to something exists in the park. There is a pinch. So we use there is to refer to a singular noun. For example, there is a car. Here we are referring to one car, a singular noun. So we use there is. There is a car. But here in this picture, there are two houses. Two houses, more than one. 
So we use there are for plural, plural nouns. So in the affirmative form, we use there is plus singular noun. Look at the book on the table. We will say there is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. While there are plus plural nouns. So we use there are to refer to something which is more than one. More than one plural. For example, there are three books on the table. Three books. So can I say there is a three books on the table? No, it's wrong. We, the right way, we, we should say there are three books on the table. Another example, there is a red bin. Here, we are referring to one pin or more than one. I'm asking you, it's one pin or more than one? Excellent, it's one. So, when I want to refer to a one pin, I should say there is a red bin. بمعنى يوجد هناك قلم أحمر. There is a red bin. While in this picture, we have one girl or two. Excellent, two girls. So, can I say there is two girls? Can I say there is two girls? No, excellent. Why? Because two is more than one. It's a plural. Girls, we have S. S here is for plural. So, two girls or more than one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. We should say there are two girls. So with the plural nouns, we should say or, or we should use there are two girls. There are two girls. Excellent. In the negative form, we use the word not. Not means le yugad. So with a singular noun, we use there isn't or there is not. There isn't a pen. There isn't an orange. There isn't a flower. While with the plural nouns, we use there aren't or there are not. There aren't any apples. There aren't any pens. There aren't any benches. There aren't any box. Okay, in the negative form, we use the word not. For is, we will change is to isn't. For are, we will change are for aren't. For example, look at this basket. Can you see any apple? Is there an apple in this basket? No. So, when I want to refer to something which is not is, which is not exist. I will say for singular noun, there isn't an apple in the basket. There isn't an apple in the basket because I can't see any apple. Okay. Again, there isn't an apple in the basket. Look at these pens. Is it one pen or more than one? Excellent, more than one. So we will use is or are are. Why? Because we use the verb to be are with plural nouns. Here we have more than one bin. Let's count. One, two, three. So, is, the, is it three or four? four? Three. Excellent. So, when I wanted to refer to something which is not exist, I'll say for plural nouns, there aren't four pins on the table. There aren't four pins on the table because they are three. There are three, not four. There aren't four pins on the table. In the question four, how, I, how I can I make a question by there is or there are? How can I? I will I'll exchange between there and is. I'll make is in the front and there in the second. For example, if I wanted to ask about an apple, okay, I'll say I'm asking about an apple or more than one. 
I'm asking about one adult. So I'll use the form is there. Is there an apple? Is there an apple? You will say yes or no. If yes, you will say yes, there is. If no, you will say no, there isn't. Let's see. Is there plus a or an plus singular noun? This is the question form. Is there plus a or an? We use a for consonant, the nouns which begins with consonant letters, and we use an with nouns which begins with vowels like a, e, i, u, and o. Plus singular noun, she mufrad. So we use is there مع المفرد لما بيجي أسأل عن شيء واحد شيء مفرد بستخدم الفورم is there is there is there a pen is there an apple why I'm saying an apple because the word apple begins with a vowel letter A is a vowel so when I wanted to ask about a noun begins with a vowel Later, I use an. Is there an, an apple? Is there an orange? How you can answer the answer form? If, is, if it is exist, you will say, yeah, there is. If this thing you're asking about is not, you can see it, is not exist, you will say, no, there isn't. Is there an apple? Yeah, there is. Is there a pen? No, there isn't. This is the answer for. For example, the question, is there a boy on the cross? Can you see a boy in the grass? No. So, I'm asking about one thing or more than one? One. So, the answer form will be, no, there isn't. Is there a boy? No, there isn't. I'm asking about one thing. Is there a boy on the grass? No, there isn't. What is this? It's a bird. So there is no boys. Okay. Second example. Is there a fish in the river? Can you see a fish in the river? Yes. So I'm asking you, is there a fish in the river? You will answer, yes, yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Number three, question number three. Is there a lemon on the tree? Yes, yeah, there is. Excellent. Is there a lemon on the tree? Can you see a lemon? Yes, yeah, there is a lemon. So the answer will be yes, there is. Yes, there is. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.